I'm at the Humboldt Bay National Wildlife Refuge. We have a structure here. And uh, I'm just gonna check out the structure to see if there's like a trail map or something and then I'm gonna get see what is on the trails. We also do have some type of observation deck here. Also see what is here. So when I first saw this, I thought that this was just a very short uh, deck. Um, but it turns out that this is the main trail, and I don't know if the entire thing is um, a boardwalk. Actually, it looks like it's not, but we start off with this little boardwalk, and we have water all around us, including over there. We have, it actually looks like a swan of some sort, or maybe that is just an egret. Okay, I think that's just an egret. First thing I notice is we do have a lot of, um, looks like invasive blackberry, then we have some type of crucifer. So it looks that near the start, we do have also dandelions, some invasive plants. Um, but maybe as we go deeper in the marsh, we'll see more native plants. So we're looking across a marsh or a wetland. In the distance, that's Table Bluff. And one thing I don't really know is what the exact composition of this is. There's a lot of wetlands very close together, and I think my guess would be that from here they grade from almost fresh water to almost totally salt water. And so each one probably has a different ecosystem with different um, plants and animals. And I don't know specifically what this one is or what any of them are. Um, so I'll just record as I go along and people can observe. So we're a little bit further into the park and we're still seeing invasive species like dandelion. On the other hand, we're also seeing pollinators, uh, so it's not a terrible thing. The wind is picking up here. You can see the ripples in this stream or streamlet. You can also see that water is very dark. Um, and that is probably tannins in the water um, because there's a lot of forest in the surrounding hills, and so all of it comes out of the Humboldt Bay, all of those nutrients. And so you get some very nutrient-rich water, so you get a lot of plants, and then eventually, of course, you get a lot of birds. This area is naturally a wetland, but the specific uh, locations of the ponds and the courses of water between them looks like it is maintained artificially. Pretty standard for wildlife refuges, actually. As we saw in McKinney, Wild National Wildlife Refuge near Corvallis. So that's a great egret, which of course is not a rare bird, but I still think it's a beautiful bird. And I so earlier I said something that was not quite correct. Um, this here is Humboldt Bay, and uh, as you can smell, that is salt water. Actually, I guess you can't smell that. And this berm here is here to artificially separate the fresh water marshes here from the salt water here. There was a sign that said if this wasn't maintained with the gates and the berms, that the salt water would encroach all the way to the ecosystem between the salty mud flats and the fresh water over there. So yeah, this is indeed salt water. So now we've completed the loop and we're heading back to the shelter. And also the wind and a little bit of rain have sprung up, but uh, it is springtime in Humboldt County on the coast. So having weird weather and having things get cloudy, that's kind of expensive. We've reached the end of the trail or we're about to get back to the visitor center. Um, so this was just a short video, just walking around. I don't know a lot about the background of it, so I didn't try to give any type of scientific analysis. Um, this is one of many wetlands along the Pacific coast, and a lot of times they vary um, because they're a mixture of different habitats. Some are forested, some are not. Some are freshwater, some are saltwater. So around Humboldt Bay, there's a lot of different varieties of habitat. Um, and I don't know all the details of that, but hopefully just seeing this has been informative and entertaining.